privilege of talking with still another resident of this area. He is Shane Clevenger, and Shane works with one of the businesses in this Wesley Drive area. Yes, ma'am, with Charleston uh, Angler. Yeah, all right. Well, some changes have occurred here, and I hope you're aware of them. And, uh, uh, okay. Unless we've made you aware no, of no, them, no, right? No, I am, I am. How, how do you feel about an area like this, the changes that have been made, was this necessary at this point in time? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, you can see right behind us with all the traffic now. Uh, during rush hour, it used to be awful. Um, and now with we got five shops in the low country, so we're always having to get around to the different shops, and it's made it a lot more convenient on us. Now, your customers use any one of these roads, Folly Road, Wesley Drive, oh. mostly all of them. Absolutely. And, and absolutely. You, are you doing okay in that area? Doing much better, yeah. Yeah, we're seeing and a lot how, more traffic through do here. Do you remember seeing the work that was done here, and are you familiar with the fact that some of the roads had to be kind of closed oh, yeah. at times here, to take care of the work? Here all the way to uh, to 61, I mean, they put in a bunch of bike paths. Um, mm -hmm. They did a great job widening the roads. It got real congested there uh, the past couple of years, and they, they've really done a good job. Uh, have you noticed that, up. that uh, people are using the bicycle absolutely. lanes and also the pavements? Absol walking? Absolutely. More walking than you've seen before? <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. Um, I mean, Charleston's just a big bike community, anyways, so uh, it just makes it a lot easier. If you only have to travel a couple miles, why, why drive? You can take a bike. Makes it easier. Well, these are roads that are very important to the community. Right. A uh, Folly Road, especially, and then we have a shopping center out here, and a whole handful of other types of stores right. and shops in the area. Oh yeah. It's virtually impossible for people not to be able to get to you now. I hope. Hopefully. Because yeah. this work has been done. Do you agree with that? Oh, absolutely. We just got to start working on the parking now. But yeah, people can definitely find us a lot easier. Well, I hope so. And also, you were saying that there were a number of shops that you all had throughout the Charleston area. The whole Low Country, yes, ma'am. Okay, yeah. and as a cut or through the Low Country, mm -hmm. and as a consequence, this shop, this particular shop, right. is in a very busy area. Absolutely. And I assume that it's competitive too. Yeah, absolutely. And so you need what customers? We need we need to get people here as easy as they the can. I've, I've been in the Charleston area now for about six years, um, and just those six years, it's, it's exploded, um, and you're definitely seeing a lot more wrecks. But hopefully, the way they're doing this work now oh. and opening it up, it, it is going to get a lot better. So you, in the past, you've seen a lot of accidents. Or it, it used to be a lot worse than it is now. And so it's a little bit better now, or a lot better. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And then there's a school in the area, as I mentioned to one of your other uh, residents out here. And I would think that this helps the schools get the children to and from their classes. And safer. And safer. That's the big and thing. And that's happening as well. Yes, ma'am. Uh, would you like to uh, make any comments about not only the pavement and the sidewalks, but the fact that this program was very dedicated to the idea that they not disturb grand trees. And there are a lot of folks in this area that don't like their oh, yeah. grand trees. Uh, nothing to happen to the grand trees. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And um, I mean, I know every now and then they have to cut down some limbs with the power lines and whatnot, but they really have done a good job at kind of getting around without having to do too much damage um, and I mean the Charleston Angler being a big coastal conservation association we, we spend a lot of money on trying to protect the land around us um, so we do we do really like what they've done and there's been some landscaping put in to the area I imagine you've seen yeah, that yeah, yeah. and uh, that helps to enhance the look Oh yeah. Of, of this area that and cleaning up the parks absolutely and the lighting system the red lights or the new uh, traffic lights, I should call them. Yep. Uh, they're there, and that's about safety as well. Of course, of course. That's that's another one of those things to be cutting down on the wrecks because <laughs> that's, that's not going to help any of us. And that's working for you too. Yes, ma'am. And one of the things that I really think is ideal is that po folks traveling to Folly, uh, Folly Beach, yep. can use this road safely and get to their destination. And uh, there are a lot of families that use this yes, area, is there not? And, uh, the, the safer they can get that, because we've all heard of the wrecks recently on Folly coming to and from. Yeah. So you know, the more they can do, the better. So uh, you kind of give us a good grade on that one, huh? Yes, ma'am. All yes, right. Ma that sounds like a winner. <laughs> we appreciate you so much. Not a problem. Not and a problem. Uh, maybe we'll talk to you again later when you've been around all of these changes and Absolutely. you see and you hear. And if your residents is the residents in this area uh, are pleased, we are too. Come see me. Come see me. We'll do it. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. So until the next time, we'll see you on the Transportation Sales Tax Program, otherwise known as RoadWise.
I'm Cheryl Harleston. For more information about Roadwise projects, visit us at ccroadwise.org and follow us on Twitter and Facebook.